Ever heard the old phrase, strike when the iron is hot? Well, it's never been hotter than now. All this month at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung GS6 or the GS6 Edge for just one penny when you send them for service. The Galaxy S6, normally $49.99, now just a penny. The Galaxy S6 Edge, normally $99.99, now just a penny. Strike now while supplies last. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. I personally hope that the guy never gets out of jail. A brutal attack. That's how the Pike County Jailer described the alleged rape of a male inmate at the jail by one of his fellow inmates. The attack allegedly happened late Tuesday. The victim was uh, allegedly uh, knocked out uh, by the suspect, and at that point in time is when the rape took place. And uh, one of our officers came into the pod um, and uh, stopped it when it was actually why it was taking place. Now an investigation is underway by Pikeville Police, who confirmed to EKB News that an investigation into an alleged sexual assault at the jail is underway by the department. Uh, we wanted an outside agency to do a, an investigation on this um, rape, and Pikeville Police Department, it, it, they came in, uh, they're doing the investigation now. The investigation is not closed at this point in time. Officials are not releasing the name of the inmate who allegedly carried out the sexual assault, pending formal charges being filed. They said, however, that he is serving a maximum sentence on a promoting contraband conviction. Jailer Freddie Lewis said he regrets that the alleged rape happened in his jail. He also didn't mince words about his feelings toward the alleged rapist, who is currently isolated from other inmates. I may be out of line saying this as a jailer, uh, but I, I personally hope that the guy never gets out of jail. Uh, for the crime that he committed. Uh, that's my personal uh, beliefs on it. I hope that he stays incarcerated uh, for the rest of his life. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.